All right, guys, so I am going to show you my groceries that I bought to make a couple meals or one meal that's really cheap to make and tastes really good. And it's fajitas. We do them in the Instapot. You can also do them on the skillet as well, too. But I do the Instapot because it's quick and I can start working on other things. So. It's been a pretty big staple the last couple of weeks. My wife and I, we've, I mean, buying peppers from Aldi or Walmart. They're anywhere from two to three bucks. And then um, chicken. I'll be cutting up here soon, but this is 13 bucks. But we'll probably use, for two of us, just two, probably use, I'll cut these chickens in half, these chicken breasts in half, slice them up to be like fajita strips, and then mix it in with a bunch of peppers and onions. So you're looking at about 16 bucks and this actually lasted both of us for like eating for dinners. I eat it for dinner every single day and for a snack as well before I went, before I go to work. And I think we had extras left over on Friday. So it lasted like 16 bucks for the chicken peppers. And then if you want to make rice with it, you can make rice with it too. And then just your traditional seasoning packet. I went a little bougier on the seasoning packet, seasoning packet, but, um, I get this brand right here kinders um but you can just get any type of you know fajita seasoning pit uh packet and it's like 98 cents this one's a little bit more expensive because i like the flavor of it so it's like two bucks so from that whole meal and it lasts me till thursday friday time when cooking it today on sunday um cost about like 17 bucks and it lasts me like freaking five six days so for like lunch or snack and dinner and that's for me my wife ate it a couple times too, so yeah. And then, okay, so we have the chicken, peppers, onions, and then seasoning packet. We'll need a little bit of chicken broth, and then that's like a couple bucks. I'm actually going to cook it with chicken broth. You can put water in the bottom, actually, but I'm going to use chicken broth. And then we need our rice. Rice is cheap. Um... I'm trying to convince my wife to buy the huge bag of rice that's like 10 pounds or something for like 30 bucks and that'll last forever. But rice is super cheap, a couple bucks for a couple pounds and that'll last you a while. So I think it's what's in here, about a pound or so. So we'll make rice with that and then make fajitas. It's going to be really fun. All right, so I pre-cut the peppers already. Bunch of red and yellow peppers. It's gonna toss them in here. And then I'm gonna show y'all how to. Oh, I gotta cut. Oh, shoot. Gotta. Sharpen up my knife. Fun fact if you're using a knife sharpener, rinse it under um, water and then wipe it off with a towel because you don't want those metal shards all over your towel as I do it over the cutting board. <laughs> do that real quick, boom, boom, bow. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a technique, that how what I do with chicken breast that, instead of just like slicing it up like this, um, I'll trim off a little bit of this white part because I'm weird. But what I do, find the thickest part of the chicken, cut it right down the side, split it right down the middle. Bah! Come on, man. And then you get two mini kind of like chicken breasts out of it. Slice these bad boys up, and then we'll put those in next. All right, now I'll kind of show you guys. I got my chicken meat mountain all squared away. We're gonna take this bad boy. Oh, I got chicken fingers. I don't wanna, don't wanna mess anything up. All right, anyways, you see the pot right here. So, taking this whole thing, my nasty chicken fingers, tossing this entire stack of chicken in. Yeah. All right. That's looking nice. 
All right, we gotta get rid of this. Wash the hands, cut up the onion, put the onion in. Then I'll show you guys what I do after I do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you cool onion technique that I learned because I hate getting my eyes super duper watery when I um, cut these. So what you're gonna have to do is get this paper towel damp. Boom, 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 boom. Squeeze out a little bit of the water. At least I want it pretty wet. Now I'm not sure if this is placebo or if this actually works. So, but put the damp paper towel right here. Cut the onion right there. Now I just want to make sure I get off all of the the excess stuff. That's gross. Oh no. Oh no, I'm losing it. Who's my technique? There we go. That outer layer. Ah. There we go. Okay. We'll clean that up later. Okay, onion down. What you're gonna do is you're going to slice in, slice in, Slice in at the root, all the way through. You can make even farther ones, just don't go all the way through. So you're cutting it long ways, just don't go all the way through. Okay, now that it's sliced up like that, we're going to take it and cut it this way, one on top and one under it. One on top. Oh, it's already starting to come apart. One under it. I'm not a pro. Then you just slice it down and things just start falling into place for you. And then what you do is you just kind of take it back again. Same thing on the other side since you almost cut it all the way through. It's already pre cut. Same thing on the other side. Gotta break them apart now. And I'm not worried about how thick these are because they're for fajitas, so big onions are fine with me. And then from there, cut up this dude one more time, one more again. We will dump our onions into the Oh yeah. Then throw all this nonsense away. Okay, we got all that in there. All that in there. Fix this camera right quick. Boom. Whoop. Okay, next. We need our fajita seasoning. And I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil to get the seasoning coated on there. <coughs> Do not need a lot. Plug a tablespoon in there and see what happens. Boom. Tablespoon. In there. Stir it up. With this. Spatula. Olive oil just helps coat things and gets the... Gets the... Seasoning mix to stick to the peppers and chicken. So, all right, dump this bad boy in here. Oh, smells like heaven, heaven, heaven. For here to blend. Mix that bad boy up, and then I'll show you what it looks like. It's a lot of food. Especially if it's for one person. You can have fajitas every day for dinner. And it wasn't very expensive at all. Total with all the ingredients. Um, not counting like oil. Using the olive oil. And rice. Just the main components of this. The, black, the, the red pepper and the yellow the peppers. Plus the onion. Plus the chicken. 
And there's obviously leftover peppers in the fridge and onions in the pantry that you can reuse to make this again. And I have two chicken breasts left over. So this, if, this is, if I was just eating this myself for dinner, it lasts me till it would last me the whole week for dinner for like 16, well, like 20 bucks total the whole week for dinner. All right, so it looks like this all nice and coated and then from there you can put water in it at the bottom of the pan so that way when it cooks in the instapot or the pressure cooker that it doesn't like stick to the bottom but i like to use chicken broth we don't got any cold chicken broth which is fine which is fine we have this big boy i think this is like dollar something from aldi Wait, hold on. Walmart, not Aldi. Pull that off. And then we'll just pour a wee bit in there. And then we should be good. We're going to set this bad boy up and cook it. And then there's the chicken. Here's our Instant Pot. I'm going to set this bad boy on there. Got this. But see with these Instapots, the ring comes out sometimes. So you got to make sure it gets put back in there because we don't want that way it doesn't it won't seal properly and things go kitty wampus. All right, so over here we're all squared away. Turn this thing on. Actually, I'm weird, so I have to plug it in first. Then. Turn it on, turn it to seal in the middle, press manual, eight minutes, and we'll be good. 